Welcome to the YouTube Press Focus. Cold day in New York. 34 degrees. So I've been thinking about something that's sort of been bothering me about pipes. And um, I figured I'd run it by everyone. And, you know, if you take a pipe and you equate it to a wood stove, and basically it's the same concept. You have a chimney, a draft hole, and, you know, I think, you know how you have some pipes that smoke better than others, and you really can't put your finger on it? Well, if you t take, compare a lot of different pipes, you have the size of the bowl and the height of the bowl, and then you have the length of the stem. In theory, those dimensions should be altered based on the height and width of the bowl. And really, they're not. So there's a good article I read about draft and a pipe. And 530, between 530 seconds and 316 seems to be the magic number. Now Tom, Northwest Pipe Smoker, he drills almost all of his pipes to 5... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Still battling a cold. To 530 seconds. And he says they smoke better. Uh, now this article said the guy sent the Dunhill to this guy that modified pipes and it came back and it smoked much, much better than it did before he sent it. And it turns out he asked the guy what he did and he, he enlarged the draft hole to 530 seconds, not only in the stumble part of the pipe, but also in the uh, bit. And he flared the bit out towards the mouthpiece in a funnel shape, and this, the pipe smoke uh, noticeably better. Now you can do a lot of this yourself. I don't know if I take a Dunhill to start with, but if you take a, a lesser pipe that you is relatively inexpensive or one you bought off of eBay, you may want to play around with that hole. I mean, you can't really play around because once you drill it bigger, you're sort of committed. Um, but I think the pipes that you happen to have that smoke really good, those dimensions, that formula happens to be perfect. The height of the bowl, the width of the bowl, the, the length of the, the stem, all the geometry happens to be right. Now I think it's done a little haphazardly in the pipe business. And most pipe makers will have a standard size that they, they drill their bowl to. And the um, stem and everything will have those same dimensions regardless if the pipe has thick walls, thin walls, high bowl, low bowl. But all that really plays a factor, I believe. So just something else to think about. And I tell you what, taking a file to the bit and flaring out the make a funnel shape, which is not hard to do, uh, really does seem to improve uh, the smoking of the pipe. And I also think it will control condensation possibly a little better. Because you want to make that transition as smooth as possible.
And also, touching back on filtered pipes, uh, Garbage Man Piper, sweet chicken baby, did a, a good video on filters. And the gist of the video is right, and I agree with this. And I do I smoke what you enjoy. If you enjoy filtered pipes, smoke filtered pipes. If you don't, and that's what I do. But, there is a but. There's always a but. What I try to do, what, what still bothers me, is I was just looking yesterday, I got a, a thing from Smoking Pipes where Costello has a whole line out. And there was one Costello there, it came in a special box. Well, I think it was $4,340. Of course, it's a non-filtered pipe. But I can't help but think... It's, it's a really a lot easier to make a non-filtered pipe. And you have to wonder why one manufacturer like Costello, for example, and I'm not picking on them, I'm just picking them out because it happens to be fresh in my head, why they would not offer a 9mm pipe at all, or a filtered pipe, period. What would make a pipe manufacturer be so bold as to say, I'm not going to make a filtered pipe? Now again, if you if you cross platforms onto other things, I'll give you another good example. Now we're going to go from pipes to shoes, from your head to your feet. <laughs> if you look at sneakers, New Balance really rev revolutionized the sneaker because they offer wide widths, up to 4E in some cases. Reebok has started to do that, but not really a lot. So you have to wonder, why would the other sneaker manufacturers not want to compete with New Balance, in this case, and make a range of wide-width sneakers? What would make a manufacturer, I mean, really, it's, it's all sewing things together, why you would avoid competing in a sneaker market by not offering wide widths. So I guess the, the same question can be asked for a pipe maker. Why would a pipe maker choose not to make a filtered pipe? The only answer I can come up with, I'm sure the pipe maker is capable, if they look at the beauty of the pipes they make, surely they can make a filtered pipe. But it has to be in their heart of hearts, they feel, and I think this is the consensus of most pipe makers, that a pipe should not be filtered. That's the only logical conclusion I can come, uh, I can come to. Because with the talent of these carvers, it's clear that they're capable of making a filtered pipe. They just choose not to make it. And the only reason you would choose not to do something, either you can't do it, which I don't believe that's the case, you don't, or you don't see the need to do it, or, what, in the case of uh, Costello, I believe they just feel it's not a true pipe, in the way they see it, the definition of a pipe.
So that's what I battle. And I, I don't, I call, they call it filtered pipes, but I don't smoke a pipe for the filtering aspects of anything. I smoke it strictly for moisture control. Matter of fact, I'd much rather them use a different term than filtered. I mean, really, you don't really need the charcoal there. You can use... <coughs> you take the... Uh, Dr. Graybo's or uh, corn cob to have the filter. That's just basically rolled up paper. The charcoal may do something, but uh, I myself don't taste the difference between smoking a filtered pipe and a non-filtered pipe. The only thing I do feel is the tongue bite. And when you get those juices, it, they are bitter and harsh. So anyway, that's my thoughts for today. On this beautiful, sunny, cool day though, in New York. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.